Hello folks, welcome. Debbie and 12 Bookworm, Cinnamon Desktop. Today's video is about your login screen, how to display your username, or if you want to do uh, the most unthinkable, which is on uh, auto logins. So they're actually contained in the same file. And uh, I will be showing you uh, those commands and I'll actually place those commands on the top of the file so it'd be easier for you to uh, deactivate and activate. Uh, in either case, folks, I'm filming in 1080. Welcome. Uh, adjust your YouTube player accordingly. Subscription key in the corner. And I've got well over 445 videos on my YouTube site on all kinds of, all kinds of things. You can do keyword searches and I also have playlists. So Debian 12 is known for security and stability. So this is the Cinnamon desktop for Debian 12. So the following question that allows you to display your uh, username on your login screen, which is normally off by default, uh, is in here. And it is located under etc. And uh, under, if you type in an L, it'll go to the first L, it's under light DM. Etc. light bulb, etc. light darkroom. However you want to use that as a mnemonic, it's etc. light DM. And the following question is this one, lightdm.cnf. All right, lightdm.cnof. Right click, you can copy this, and I highly suggest you do this before you edit anything. This file is owned by root, so by copying that, I would suggest you place that elsewhere. So copy, create yourself a folder, our user for today's dev tester. It's just a made up name. Create yourself a folder. I called mine LightDM Backup. And I have uh, a subfolder called Original because that's the original file. A backup of it before I edit anything. And this is the edited version. You can just choose to ignore my uh, little warnings. But anyways, uh, you don't have to make backups, but I suggest you do them. All right, now I'm going to move on. So, uh, etc. Light DM. All right, so everything in here is owned by root. So this means that this has root permissions. That means I can't edit, I can't delete it, and there's a reason for that. So we're talking, we're trying to activate usernames on our login screen or possibly auto logins. And I'll, talk, I'll tell you one of the reasons I don't like auto logins, especially for laptops in case they get stolen. Uh, somebody can just break into your web browser rather easily and your file system. But if you want to do this, I will show you how to edit that and uh, place those commands on the top of the list, as one would say. So you do not um, use a word processor to edit this file. You can use the standard text editor gedit, or you can use your favorite text editor. I have another one called Kate. All right, if you decide to use a gedit, I'm going to open this in gedit in standard mode first to talk about a plugin that allows me to do stuff like this. I am zooming in to make this larger for you because I have a plugin installed under preferences. So this is gedit 44.2. All right, so I have something in preferences that is normally not here. It's called text size. It increases and decreases text sizes. This plugin you'll have to install. If you would like to know how to do that, I'll take that out of a couple of seconds and talk about that. I'm going to open up terminal. This is the quickest way you can install this. I will make this bigger for you. And um, I'm going to use my arrow key to, well, type in that. sudo space apt dash get space install space dash y space gedit get it plugin text size gedit. That's the name of the application and then the plugin is called text size. Hit enter and put in your password and allow it to finish. Then open up um, any text document. I'll just use documents. Uh, I'll use this file and uh, we will open this in normal mode. Go to the hamburger menu under preferences and you'll find the plugin at the bottom, usually without a check mark. So you just make sure you check it and then close this. And then you can hold down your control key on your keyboard. And if you're using a regular computer mouse with a scroll wheel, hold down again, hold down the control key and scroll up with your computer mouse to resize text on the fly. Scrolling back and forth. 
if you care. You may have to do this also in root mode. So let's talk about that. File system. And again, you can always back up the video. You can uh, subscribe, back up the video, write down the command, however you want to do that. Okay, or you can do a screenshot. Now, let's go back to etc. and light DM. We're going to open this in root mode. Right click, root mode. You be careful in here if you've never been into root mode in here. But we need to edit this file in root mode because all of these files are owned by root. That means you cannot edit them, delete them, or add anything in here unless you're in elevated privilege mode. So what happens when I double click on this? It opens this in LibreOffice. Do not, do not edit this in LibreOffice. It adds extra characters and it can make your system a little bit messy. Whatever you do, do not edit this in a, in a word processor. You use a text editor. I don't care if it's gedit, kate, or others. Now, since I added the plugin for zooming in gedit, I'll use that first. Holding down the control key, holding down the control key, scrolling up with my computer mouse to make that bigger. Again, you may if it doesn't work, you may want to double check your plugin to make sure that it is active. I had to do that in normal mode and root mode. Once I did it in both, their check marks are active. So I'm going to talk about line two and three. I put those there manually. You will not have those. If you want, I'll show you what the normal file looks like. Um, I did some editing with it, but more importantly, it's generally the same. You will not see that in here. So line two and three are not the same as the one I just showed. Okay, so let's open this up. So I plugged in number three where it says greeter hide users equals false because normally it doesn't display your username. So I put in line three greeter hide users equals false to display users on the list. And as long as the pound symbol, this symbol here, is removed, it'll process this command. If this says true, it hides your users. If this says false, it displays them. I borrowed this command actually from another line down here. Line two I'll talk about a little bit later, auto login. Because I borrowed these commands and I put them at the top. So you can just put in the pound symbols at will if you want to turn these on and off. So this is gedit. Now I'm going to open this in Kate. Okay. So I'm still in elevated privilege mode and we're going to open this with Kate. Kate has a tendency to highlight things. I can also use the same feature, which is hold down the control key and scroll up to make things bigger. So what I'm going to do is actually highlight this line number three on my machine. You won't have this. However, you can do a search for this. You can always do screenshots, folks. You can always subscribe and come back to this. But I'm highlighting this in Kate, the text editor. And you can find Kate if you install that through your software store. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down and you can now see that line 68 is highlighted in yellow. That's where I borrowed the command. I actually went in here and did this. And then I copied it. And then I scrolled all the way to the top and I created an extra line. I'll just do it under line two. So I created a blank line and I right clicked and paste. The reason I wanted to put it on line three is line four is the same statement with the opposite. So once you got this pasted in here or you can hand type it, that's all up to you. You make sure you change that to false. Why is that? Because you want to display your username, right? That's the sole purpose of you probably editing this. And the reason I'm putting these commands on the top is so I can turn these on and off. And you don't have to go hunt for them later. So you just change that from true to false and it'll display your username after you hit save. Now I'm going to get rid of this double negative here because you can't have two lines that kind of do this kind of stuff. 
All right, so again, all I did was highlight that and found similarities in Kate. But then again, you're not going to be highlighting things like I'm doing. But I just want to let you see there's one instance there and here's another one. It says greed hide, greeter hide users equals false. Isn't that what I have at the top? Yes, except I am using large case letters here. Okay, so if you scroll down, you can't find it anymore. All right, so anyways, I could have also, uh, I'm just using that again to find things. Here's the first instance and the second instance. Could I remove that symbol? Yes. But I like to have it at the top because I don't like to scroll for things, especially custom commands. And that's what these are. So that's why I like these at the top. So I can do that. And what can I do also to turn that off? All I do is uh, go back in here and scroll to the front of the line. On line three, I put a pound symbol. That turns it off and I can hit save and I'll be back to the same default settings as normal. Now let's talk about auto login user. Auto login user can be found in here also. Auto login user has two settings in here, line 128 and 29. The one that you want is this one. All right, so this is a Cinnamon desktop, that being in 12. Right click, copy, scroll to the top, unless you just want to deal with it downstairs. I prefer to have it up here. So I'm going to create a line and hit paste. So it says auto login dash user equals. You will need to put the name of your user. My user is Deb Tester. So uh, basically, if I do the home screen, and uh, actually, let me open up the file manager in standard mode, Deb Tester. You can also toggle this line or control L. You make sure that that spelling is correct of your username. You will put, be putting that in there where my cursor is blinking. So this is what I did on that line. You need to do this manually. Put in your username. Once you put in your username, let's say if it's Mary, you would remove that and you would hit save. And again, um, I have highlighted lines here with pound symbols. You do not want to have both of these active. So in, instead of uh, greeter hide users false, I would put a pound symbol there and turn off the pound symbol here. So if I hit save, close and reboot, Mary, if I have a username Mary and it needs to be spelled correctly, will auto login. And I'm against these kind of things. Why is that? Because if you lose that laptop, if it is a laptop uh, and it gets uh, maybe let, let's say it gets stolen, anyone can open the lid, look at your web browser. And if you've got banking links in there or passwords, but guess what? Same thing with your personal files. So I'm really against auto logins, but I'm showing you how to do that. All right, in my case, since my username is Deb Tester, mine is going to be called auto login, removing that, auto login dash user Deb Tester, save, close, reboot. Again, I'm not fond of this at all. So I prefer to use this one. Now, the reason I put these commands on the top, as you can see, it's very convenient. All I need to do is now take and remove the pound symbols and hit save. I don't have to go searching for these anymore because they're at the top of my screen. Okay, this time I'm going to close, save, and say thank you for watching.